Hey, what's up everybody? Eric Solabox out in the shop today. It's about two in the afternoon on Sunday. I'm gonna be shipping a whole bunch of motorcycle panniers tomorrow. There's, I think, 12 sets of black boxes inside the house that are gonna go out. Um, so today I just finished running a bunch of stuff in the Rubicon Gray. Here's the lids, I'm assembling them now. Um, say, I've struggled with this for a long time. So you can see there's three rivets that hold this plate on here and getting it to where it's straight, I've just always struggled with it. And I finally, the solution's been in front of me the entire time I didn't realize it. So usually what I am doing is <clears throat> I'm using a machinist square to try to square it up and then a little pair of vice grips to grab it and then I drill it. But no matter how hard I grip it, it'll migrate when I'm drilling it. And if it migrates when I drill it, even if I turn it back to where it's square and then I run the rivet through there, when I pull the trigger on the rivet gun, because the hole isn't perfectly straight, it'll pull it out of kilt. And so what I finally, I was looking at this little slot down here at the bottom here and I realized that the solution to it is just a little piece of scrap aluminum. Slide it through the hole. And then when I push down on this, it forces it square. So I get it square every single time. And it's so much faster because normally I'm like trying to eyeball it. I'm messing around with a square. I'm messing around with vice grips. So anyway, when I drill this first one, it'll be right where it needs to be, which is nice because I have been struggle, struggling with that ever since I went to the rotary latch, like, geez, like three or four years ago. So I'm glad I've got that figured out. In other news, uh, so Facebook's uh, new Meta Business Center has immediately, they finally kicked that thing off. They immediately locked me out of my very own account. Um, <clears throat> You know, I've worked for how many years now to try to build an audience there? You know, I only had like 5,000 people, but now I can't get any of my messages. I can't post anything there. I'm locked out. I'm trying to get back into it, but I have a feeling that uh, that may not, they may not ever actually let me back into it. So I started a secondary page. It's Go Solo ba Box, Go Solo Box on uh, Facebook. If you've been following me on the old page, please go over to the new page and uh, click the like button and follow me over there. So, you know, that's the best thing I could come up with as a solution is to just try to start over because trying to get anybody to help you on Facebook is next to impossible. So I don't know what else I can really do, you know, and that's a big part of my income is actually to be able to take, you know, and show what it is I manufacture put it out in front of people for them to purchase and, you know, to have that gone after all the work that I've put into it is a real bummer. Uh, what else is going on? Um, I did do some work on this uh, milling head. I think my last video was talking about this. I got the quill unstuck on it and I have been through everything on this and taken a look at it. Of course, I still haven't run the motor. I do have the uh, the converter box coming for the three phase so I can um, convert it to a single phase and run the motor. So that's on the way. Um, <clears throat> everything on this head looks to be really, really tight. Um, got the quill unstuck and it's looking to me like this project is going to go well. I just don't have any time to work on it. I've got the phase converter coming. I've got a draw bar for the top of it coming. I need to put everything back together and uh, see about getting it mounted onto the mill. Just don't have time for it right now. Uh, the, the batch of boxes that I'm currently finishing up here is actually the biggest batch I've built in the history of the company. And like literally, I'm not even done building all this. And the only thing that isn't spoken for is this one set of slim cases. Didn't powder these just in case I get somebody that wants them either in Rubicon or black, or maybe they want to split a set where they put the skinny box on the exhaust side. So I'm going to let those sit until somebody needs them. But apart from that, the entire batch has sold out. We're not even into spring yet. We're just a few more days out from the beginning of spring. And it looks like uh, the season's kicking off already. And so I'm grateful for that. Um, that three box set is a customer from Oregon that's gonna be coming up uh, for a free install. 
All the Rubicon stuff is spoken for, and like I said, there's just a boatload of parts inside the house. It's gonna be a really expensive uh, shipping week. As we all know, fuel prices have gone through the roof, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna be spending probably the better part of $1,000 just on shipping here in the next few days, so. Anyway, Eric Solobox, Ride Safe, everybody. Hit me up on that new page. Uh, give it a like. I would really appreciate it. And any existing customers, if you've already bought boxes, if you could go to the new page and uh, maybe write a review or do a rating, I would appreciate it too. You know, I had a 4.9 out of a perfect five-star score on the old page. It really sucks to see that go bye-bye. So anyway, Eric Solobox, Ride Safe, everybody. I'll talk to you later.